And for Alex, thank you. Very, very nice. Thank you very much. Again, the book is going around. Please, you're encouraged to write in it, draw in it, do what you like. You don't have to just read it, but of course you can just express yourself. Right. Off to a good start. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why, but uh, what we well, just said, speaking of words, but <clears throat> I just want to take a moment to share. This is a story that a lot of people really like, particularly Polish people. But when I moved the Wrocław, I moved to Poland, this was uh, almost 15 years ago, 14 years ago, actually. Um, the job I had, I had to do a, a physical, you know, a medical physical and everything. And they had to do the blood test and the hearing test and everything. And they, the... They, my employer offered me a translator to come with me to this hearing test of uh, physical. And during the physical, of course, you know, you did blood work, did everything. And at one point, I had to do the hearing test. And the translator was like, uh, next we're going to go in the, into the room and have a hearing test. And I'm like, okay. And it just didn't bother me because uh, I was born... Uh, hearing impaired. I was uh, I have severe hearing loss and I wear hearing aids and I grew up my entire life with hearing tests, you know, and in America they put you into this soundproof booth and they put these giant headphones on you and it's very like technological and like crazy wires, cables and you have to listen to beeps and press buttons and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, I'm ready. So we walk into this large room and there's one desk with an old woman and the room is essentially empty. And so I'm thinking, well, you know, and the, the, the woman stands up talking to the translator and, and the translator goes, we're going to do the hearing test now. I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking the, the old lady is going to take us into another room where the technology is. And instead the old woman takes me by the hand and she walks me to the far side of the room to the wall and I'm standing against the wall, facing the wall, and my translator is standing next to me. And the nurse, or a doctor, I don't know, I apologize, but the old lady walked to the far end of the room away, and she goes, Swish is near. <laughs> and the translator standing next to me goes, Can you hear her? <laughs> And I'm like, uh, 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 yes. And she's like, talk. <laughs> and then she does it again now. Swishes me. <laughs> Can you hear her? I thought they were playing a joke on me. I really I thought, like, the, the camera was going to come in and people were going to come in laughing. But no, that was the hearing test. <laughs> And I knew at that moment, I'm like, I'm going to love it here. <laughs> it's going to be a great place. So, anyway. All right. So, anyway, let's bring up our next guest. Guest, excuse me here. Oh, all right. Well, our next guest, uh, she is uh, she is a struggling writer among many things. She's also 